I'm gonna go over the solar a little bit today. I have everything hooked up and I've been using it for a while and I finally got the hang of things and know everything works. And we'll uh, start with the solar panels. I've got two solar panels here. I can actually tip this up to the sun so if I'm on a job site for a while I can tip it up towards the sun and, and uh, it'll be a little bit more efficient. I run the wires down here and it goes into the trailer in the front. They're in parallel, so they stay at 12 volt. Uh, comes in here. Here's my main fuse for the solar panel, so that's a 30 amp fuse. Travels down, and then I have everything under here. So it goes into this charge controller, which is a bit of a piece of crap. Um, the Amazon choice, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's not great. I'm going to upgrade to an MPPT controller. This is just a uh, PWM controller. It comes with these instructions, which are just terrible. There must have been a issue with translation and everything. So trying to figure out how everything works and make adjustments for the battery type is kind of a pain in the butt. So anyways, it goes into the charge controller and this is just going to uh, monitor how the battery is going and where to send the power. Uh, so it comes in this side here. This is the out to the battery. So everything connects down to the battery, which I'll show you in a minute. And this right here is the 12 volt load. So the 12 volt load goes into my fuse panel and then I'm able to split from here. I use the panel itself as a fuse so it's got a 30 amp fuse and then I can use um, smaller fuses for my LED lights. They don't draw too much. Um, this way that the fuse panel's fused and it, this takes up to 30 amps. Um, where I go down to the battery I have another fuse which is 30 amp. So it comes down below to my battery. So it's down here. I keep a battery charger just in case I, in case I don't uh, have any sun. It doesn't happen too often. So I have a one AGM battery. It's a hundred amp hour battery. I could get another one, but I find that I'm just using this to kind of equalize things as I'm charging my DeWalt batteries and Milwaukee batteries and cordless tools. So I'm not really, I don't use this thing at night, um, so I don't really need to store a lot of power. I just need um, to keep everything consistent. So you need a battery. Um, and then I run up to my inverter. It's a 2500 watt pure sine wave inverter, which I use that to charge my DeWalt batteries up there. Uh, you need a pure sine wave. The modified sine waves don't work very well for, um, they don't work very well for charging DeWalt batteries and they could wreck them. I got a little light in here. And then I got some big wires and I got a big fuse, you know, a 300 amp fuse and two out wire hooking up my inverter so lots of you don't have to worry about voltage drop or these getting warm or anything and then I just run it up to charge my batteries I can turn this guy on this comes with a remote and a little switch but I don't really need it um, everything's pretty compact and I can just close this up to keep the dust out but I try to leave it open if it gets hot in there so I can breathe and then as you can see I can charge my batteries in the sun and this is my little earmuffs that uh, Bluetooth earmuffs. They can charge right off the USB. Um, and then I have a little 12 volt fan that I can plug in here. Where's that? Over here. So I can run that too. I just haven't found a great spot for it. Just 
So I'll set that up there or I'll put it down below if it's getting hot underneath. My wiring, so my lights run back up here. Um, and I've spliced everything in. And then I just took this, this trailer came with a switch that would, when you have the truck running and hooked up, it'll turn lights on in here. So it only came with this light, which was mounted over here. So I disconnected that and I added these lights in and I have them all on one switch. And these will go individually as well too. But the one switch is nice. Um, but yeah, I mainly just charge batteries and I don't store, I don't have a microwave or anything like that. I am able to run my chops on table saw. Uh, I do have a video of testing the solar. You can see the chop saw going. Uh, I did blow the breaker running the table saw. I was cutting a bunch of pressure treated, ripping it down and pushed a little too hard. And um, it, it didn't short anything out. It, it blew the 300 amp breaker. So yeah, overall it's a pretty good system. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna upgrade to an MPPT. I don't need more batteries, but I might one day get another battery or switch over to lithium ion. But those will be some future upgrades. Uh, I think that's about it. Anyways, thanks for watching.